Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And today we're back in mom's kitchen and I was looking through our great grandma's or Ellie's great grandma's um, recipe book the other day and I found one of her recipes for chicken adobo. And growing up, would you guys have chicken adobo a lot? Or? Not often, but I remember distinctly um, my aunt, um, Auntie Weno, mm -hmm. making it with a stewing chicken and it was the most delicious chicken adobo I've ever had. So how is this kind of, so today we're going to be using boneless skinless chicken thighs, but how is this chicken different than like a stewing chicken? So she, well a stewing chicken is like an older chicken and so she used the whole chicken, uh, not, not cooking it whole I don't think, but I think she um, cut it up into parts and then cooked it. So you had all the different, you know, you had the drumsticks. And the bones. The so maybe I have more yes, flavor. Yes, maybe. Ah, okay. Okay, okay so. well, today this is a very simple recipe and we're just gonna follow along on grandma's card here. But, um, mom, you wanna okay, so it the says, way? Add the, add, so it says add all the ingredients, add the chicken, and let it sit for two hours. We're gonna do that. So the ingredients are vinegar. Are we gonna turn the pot on yet? No, we're gonna oh. let it sit for two hours. Remember? Got it. Okay. Vinegar and shoyu and um, garlic. Crushed garlic. Crushed garlic, but I I read the recipe wrong. So it's chopped. So hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> Salt. And we'll put all of the ingredients in the description box below. And so we have crushed that. peppercorn here. We have to crush the peppercorn. So let me do that real quick. And how do you so crush peppercorn? And garlic, you would do it the same way. You would do it with the, with the blade of the knife and just pound on it. So today also we're going to be using five pounds of chicken. We kind of have a big um, dinner tonight. so. We're doing five pounds of chicken and we're doubling grandma's original recipe which was for three pounds but we're just gonna double everything and um two bay leaves yeah two bay leaves yeah one two we're gonna mix it up add the chicken and wait for two hours yeah. thank you is it okay for the chicken to sit out for two hours um yeah I think so. That's how she did it. Okay. <laughs> So while uh, we let it marinate for two hours, we're going to be making another one of grandma's recipes. I found um, her cocoa recipe, which is like a pickled cabbage. And it's very simple, but I remember, you know, even as kids growing up, um, eating grandma's cocoa and um, eating it with rice. It's like the best with rice. But did, did grandma make that for you a lot too growing up? The she did cocoa? actually not really often, but we, you know, she would make it every so often when they had like lots of cabbage or maybe cabbage was on sale or something. They wanted to eat cocoa. You, at, you know, you had to make your own. Um, Tsuke mono at that time, you, you couldn't necessarily go to the store and buy. So while we're waiting for our chicken to marinate, we are going to be making very simple cocoa recipe and what is the co term cocoa like is it it just means pickled or I why do we I, call it we don't know why we call it cocoa i think yeah i don't know it's just called cocoa <laughs> but it's like a tsuke mono basically yeah. pickled cabbage so we're going to be using salt. salt 
vinegar, sugar, and a little bit of ginger. Yes. And okay, so grandma's recipe was very vague. It just lists the ingredients and it says one gallon Ziploc bag and cabbage. That's it. So so I'm we're gonna mix it together and if we have a difficult time actually getting it to dissolve, get, getting the sugar and the salt to, to dissolve, we will heat, heat it, it on the yeah. Okay. So what do we try? So for now we're gonna you want yeah. me to put the vinegar in the sugar? Is that right? Yes, vinegar in the sugar. Okay. And we just this um, amount of cabbage is just one head of cabbage. That's all we're using. Okay, and add the salt. Let's see if it dissolves. Carol, can you taste it? I mean, it tastes good. It's sweet and salty. And <laughs> it's actually a good flavor. It okay. tastes like um some like well, a let's put the ginger. Cool. Let's just let's just do it like this then. Okay. Okay. But she, you know, she didn't say. Heat. Oil or heat. Yeah. yeah. Heat to do dissolve. Yeah. Just, all it says is lomi. So lomi on this paper means to massage. If you're not from Hawaii. Lomi, right. If you have a big bowl, you lomi first and then you put it oh. in the bag. Oh yes. Where is the big your big um It's in that. This one. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pour it in. Pour it in. See, the cabbage wouldn't fit in a Ziploc bag right now, but after you know me, well, let me, let me, let me take out some of the water. For, yeah. yeah. Let me mix it for you. Nobody makes tsukimono like this anymore. I bet there's more high-tech ways. Well, it's it's a lot cheaper to do it this way than to buy it in the market. That's true. Is this a dish then, um, like what Grandma put would, would make with bento or something? Mm -hmm. I remember. Mm -hmm. I, well, you know, I didn't I didn't work in the field, so I didn't get in the normally get a bento. Ah. But, but they Only did. Your brothers. They woke up every morning when. Um, Uncle Warren and Uncle Owen, especially for the summer, would work in the fields. In the summer, they would work, wake up every morning to make them bento. I didn't was have sleeping. that privilege. <laughs> I was not even asked, do you want to work? Is it because you were a girl? I think so, yes. It's like there were no sports for girls, right? No, no girls sports. No? Mm -mm. No. So that's why you know how to cook? <laughs> well, I didn't do much cooking actually. Oh, okay. Grandpa, so what did cooking. you do growing up? Not, not too much actually. You played outside? I played outside. <laughs> it's interesting what just a few simple ingredients of vinegar and salt, what they do to, you know, like a cabbage. It, just, like, it takes out all the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so powerful. To mix it like this first and then put it in the bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. So let me know if you want to see more of Grandma's recipes that she has in her recipe. Uh, what is that called? Like her recipe book? Not a book, but it's like her. It's just an. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's a recipe box. Like a, re a recipe box. Yeah. Um, because there's all these old ones that I, you know, people don't make today. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool too. Okay, you can try low me. Okay. Okay. This is the part. Try not to crush it too much. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, you can. And then do we have to uh, empty out the water that comes out? No, you think? no. You want to keep the water. Oh. And then we want to put all of that in the bag. Mm -hmm. And then just. Uh, and how? I wonder how long you're supposed to keep it in the bag. <laughs> like, how long does it take to become? I think. Um, okay, well, or do you just eat like I this? I think by it is evening you can eat it. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm going to try one right now. Okay, why don't you try one and see? Let me get a nice piece. That's but this nice. is so simple. 
I think this is something like you can make, you know, when we're going to like a party or it's the really beach. Strong. And then too strong? No, I mean right now because the water hasn't come out of the mm -hmm. cabbage yet. And yeah. We'll see how it is because I can yep. still taste the salt grains separately. Oh. So let's put it in the bag now. And then we'll Did I loan it enough? Can, yeah, I think so. And then you can loan me some more in the bag if you like. I think your fingers are going to start to get um, pretty cold pretty soon. It's so. a gallon bag, so it should all fit. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, we're making this video after Thanksgiving, but we hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving with their family. Uh, and you guys ate lots of good food. I know we did. We um, went to my uncle's house for dinner and we just had like a really big spread of turkey and I don't know, steak and ham, ham and sashimi and all that. So anyway, I just wanted to wish everybody a belated Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Is there any juice to put in? Yeah. Pull all the juice off of this. Okay, we will come back at you in a little bit. And we can roll me more. Oh, okay. Can I roll me a little bit? We can roll me more. really hard to roll me. I think this is what it means to roll me. So it's been just about two hours. So we're gonna start. Let's see what it looks like. Can we see, can yeah, we open you it? Can see it. Oh. It's been soaking for two hours, so we're okay. gonna we're gonna cook it. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. And uh, we're cooking it for 30 minutes. We're 30 gonna minutes. we're gonna boil it and then simmer for 30 minutes. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna bring it to a boil. So I'm putting on medium high high. Yeah. Almost number eight. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. A little bit. It's very easy. Okay, tell me what's happening. So we're cooking down the chicken, but everyone's hungry, that's so everyone's that's eating that's it. That's but I'm, I'm continuing to cook it. It's supposed to be dry, but it's it's getting there. Okay, and then we have our cabbage here. So tell me what you're doing. So I'm rinsing it because I remember she used to rinse it and then squeeze it. So. Because it's really intense, the flavor is very intense. I tried some. And actually, what she did was um, then eat it with shoyu. <laughs> Put some more shoyu. Or, or, or none, or just like that. Yeah. It's been in the refrigerator since probably like 2 o'clock, so maybe 4 hours, right? Try it. Crunchy, right. sweet. A little sweet, and then you add a little shoyu when you eat it. You can let people try it. Mm. It's really easy. We should make it more often. Mm -hmm. So our dinner spread tonight is leftover Thanksgiving food. Kathy, can you tell us what? You should have got this in the beginning because it's empty already. Ah. <laughs> After some people ate already. So we have some leftover turkey. And we have some Uncle Warren made. This was, I think, this was sashimi, but Is he it's like blackened. He seared it because it's getting probably needs to be fancy. eaten. Yeah. We have some stuffing. We have some mashed potato. We have. Did you make this? I did. I did make. You made Portuguese bean soup. I did. Wow. Is, yes. Is it a Tasha recipe? No, she doesn't make Portuguese. Oh, okay. Soup. This is from the internet. Okay. I'm gonna eat. Okay, Uncle Owen is gonna try. Yeah, I am about to try this, but you know, I didn't put my makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> so let me try this. I have, I have the chicken adobo, some, uh, some of the sauce, the gravy, and white rice. Uh, so I'm gonna take my first test right now. Very nice and soft. The meat just kind of falls apart, which is really good. But chicken adobo has got a good amount of, I taste the uh, vinegar, the pepper, the garlic, and so it's really a nice blend of flavors. Okay, Uncle B is starting to try the 
Chicken. Yeah. You ready? Yep. I'm going to try the chicken adobo and it looks great. So let's see if it tastes great. Good. So do you remember grandma making this growing up at all or not really? I don't really remember her making this that much. Maybe maybe um by the time I came along, they stopped making it or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't remember making it that much. So, yeah. But we had, we had fun. I mean, of course, you know, we had a lot of good stuff to eat always. Yeah. You know. But it's good. Very good. Good, good job, you guys. All thank right. Thank you. It's delicious. Mm. And, and chicken adobo is one of my favorite things. I love chicken adobo. Ren. It's really good. Mm. It's very delicious. It's got like a kind of almost a garlicky ginger. I mean, it got vinegary, like, you know, like chicken adobo with a little extra, like elevated. It's really good. I like it. Beetle, say hi. Mmm, very good. Has a very nice flavor. A little bit like it's, it's very tender. It's got a, like a you like carries nice classic adobo flavor. I like it. Good job. Chicken, right, chicken, chicken adobe, adobe Photoshop. Grandma's recipe. The vanilla flavor is light. It's a lighter flavor, but it's good. It's soft. It's good. What do you think? Because you make chicken adobo. You make no, it differently. I'm heavy handed with the vinegar. This is good. You like it like this better? You like Back then in the plantation days, vinegar probably uh, We had to, less vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to conserve. But it's good. And good. Wait, wait. Cargo coco. Which basically on the camera just looks like cabbage. Yes, but it's pickled. Mmm, that's good. That's good. It might, might be better the longer it soaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna end the video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these very simple recipes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.